Hi Aries, welcome to your general forecast for the month of April. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aries, we are going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. This is a general reading, so whatever energies come out, we're just going to take them. So it could be love, it could be work, career, finance, just something about life. So we're just going to take it as it comes here. So welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female watching. Doesn't really matter. Could be past, present, or future. Please keep that in mind. And we'll see what we get for you here, um, Aries. So, Aries, let's see what we get for you. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So, this, um, we could get, a, um, <laughs> if I could speak, a sign, element, or planet. And we'll see how that place into your reading it could be somebody around you a friend a family member a co well for some of you maybe a co-worker a lover or it could be an energy of a planet so we're just going to get whatever comes out here for aries messages most needed for aries spirit please for this general reading for april or whenever you see this uh, is whenever you're meant to uh, see it take it how it, only how it resonates for you uh, may or may not all resonate so only take the parts that do if it's not fitting for you it's not your story Please don't try to make it fit and leave me comments that it's wrong or it's not right or blah, blah, blah. Then it's just not your story. So click off. <laughs> so that's all I have to say about that because I will delete those messages. So, Aries. Okay. This is intended for the people, the viewers that most need it, whether you're a subscriber or not. That's how I feel. This just isn't for my subscribers. But if you do like how I read and my style, you're more than welcome to check out my channel. And if you like what you see, then please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. You get a love connection reading, a singles reading if you're single, um, messages from spirit, and uh, a general reading, which we take whatever energies come. And then I do a bonus reading where we take a little look at love, life, and then advice for you. So if you are interested in all that, then please check out my channel and if you do thank you all right Aries let's see what we have for you so we have Gemini so some of you could be dealing with a Gemini in some way shape or form it'd be someone around you or you could have Gemini in your chart or know somebody who may have Gemini heavily in their chart but Gemini does represent in the um, major arcana of the tarot the lovers which is a soulmate card, so or it could be uh, make, needing to make a choice. Gemini is an air sign. Air sign is all about that air energy is all about uh, clarity and communication and that kind of energy. So, all right, so we'll see how that plays in. So let's get an opening energy for you, Aries. An opening energy for you, Aries. Opening message. Well, that was fast. So we have 11 here, the Hawk Prince, spirit communication, paying attention. And we have 11. And 11 is about being um, on the right spiritual path or just this, or it could be uh, the universe just telling you whatever path you are on, whether it's spiritual or not, 11, you are on the right path. So keep going, don't stop. Uh, that is a very spirit. You can look up the angel number 11 also if you like to. You wouldn't normally add double digit numbers like that together, but if you do, it's two, which is about unity of some kind. But spirit communication, paying attention. So pay attention to any signs, symbols, uh, repetitive things that you see here, um, things you find, uh, animals you see, anything like that. It could be spirit communication. It could be pastor over loved ones trying to communicate to you. Uh, so really pay attention to all that kind of energy around you, especially at this time with everyone being quarantined, just spending a lot of time outdoors in nature and you're noticing, okay, I see ladybugs all the time or I see butterflies all the time or a certain bird or something like that. Are you walking along and you find the same kind of feather every day or something? You know, Google the meaning of that, whatever you're finding, and there may be a message in there for you. So it's telling you to really uh, pay attention to that and also maybe get more in tune in touch with your spiritual side uh that spirit connection also the universal spiritual connection to maybe get more connected to that energy also or you could have because the gemini i did say here could represent a soulmate twin flame energy with the lovers and it could be a very spiritual connection you have with somebody so i don't know we'll see because 11 to me is always half of the twin flame number and I just notice here, if you add up 
Gemini's three in your one Aries, that's four. Four also is indicative of that 11, 11, which equals four twin flame numbers. So, wow. So we'll see. So let's get, that's our opening message. So, all right. So let's see. Maybe some of you have um, a Native American um, ancestral uh, background. So if you don't know your background, maybe look into that because maybe you have, or if you feel a strong connection to Native Americans or their heritage or their um, belief system or whatever here about them, uh, that could be a sign that maybe you do have some of that in your um, heritage or your ancestry. So maybe look that up. All right. So what is the opening energy for you? So we have the arrow master hitting the mark intention and detachment and we notice that we have 10 and then the hawk prince is 11. so 10 here can be um coming to the end of a cycle of some kind and then one is a new beginning and it says detachment so you may intentionally be detaching yourself from something person place thing um situation here but then you have hitting the mark which is like setting your intentions and manifesting and hitting you know what you want to hit in your life so so you may be intentionally detaching and ending something so that you may start something new here hit the mark on something new but you're div I feel like you're being divinely guided to do this so really pay attention to um, that energy so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you Aries so we have here the wise woman of Wonderland integrity compromise we have 23 which is three which is about teamwork, collaboration, uh, working together, people coming together in some way, shape, or form. Um, it could be somebody wise around you. It could be a mother figure, a sibling, uh, a really close friend, uh, male or female, but it does say woman uh, of Wonderland. So, I mean, it could be also a male who is very feminine, but somebody who has a lot of integrity, very wise, very compromising energy, I feel like it's somebody you could learn a lot from, get advice from, guidance, like a mentor for some of you. I'm getting um, very like an older person, so it could be male or female. So somebody here that could probably guide you in the right direction, maybe even spiritually, if you're not understanding uh, things going on around you, especially if it's a spiritually uh, spiritual nature. Maybe there's somebody around you who can uh, clarify all this energy for you, help you understand maybe the spiritual world, spiritual energy, and that kind of energy also. All right, so I'm getting Sagittarius energy here with the Arrow Master. So if that means anything to anybody also. I'll do the signs at the end, um, Aries. So, so far we have Gemini, and to me that's saying Sagittarius. So, could be anybody. All right, so let's clarify this energy. What's going on with you, Aries? What's going on with Aries? What is this energy about? Oh, that's way too many. For Aries, please. Thank you so much. For Aries. Thank you, thank you. Judgment, so needing to make a final judgment call on something here. And I felt that energy of making a final judgment or decision here on detaching yourself from something I feel that uh, was no longer serving you. Like following your intuition, your guidance, like that spiritual energy to do so. It could be about forgiveness, judgment, forgiveness, resurrection kind of energy. Sometimes, you know, this angel brings soulmates back together. Some of you could be detaching from somebody so you can be with your true soulmate here. Maybe you're getting wise guidance from somebody. It could even be, you know, somebody you're going to for professional um, guidance of some kind. Or just spiritual, professional spiritual guidance of some kind also. But this... Um, Angel usually brings the soulmates back together. It's about forgiveness, um, making a final judgment call, decision. And now we have the sun energy. So this always is indicative of me of soulmate twin flame energy. It's success, success, victory, happy home and family, healing, enlightenment, 
growth, expansion, every everything positive with the sun. Two majors coming out here. So you got 19, 20. Wow. So you got 10. You have 10, 11. You have <laughs> 19, 20. And then that over there is 21. Wow. So there's a progression here. And the last card in the tarot over the major arcana is 21. 21 is the world. That's the last card. And it starts over again with the fool. So 21 there could be just saying there is a completion here of some kind. But you're making a final decision here to go after your true happiness and sunshine. You feel like you're being divinely guided to do that, to detach, set your true intentions and hit the mark of what, like the sun here, what you truly, truly, like blowing the horn and aiming your <laughs> arrow here at the sun, what you truly want here. So let's get more energy around this for you, Aries. 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 More energy. More for Aries. What do we have here? We got four more. Oh, wow, we got five. Oh, that's a lot. I don't usually take that many, but let's see what we have. We have the four of pentacles energy. So holding back, holding on, not letting go. The king of swords. So this is having there's that Gemini energy I was speaking of. So having that truth, that clarity, cutting away those things are no longer serving you with that sword. So there's your intention of purposely detaching from something that you know that you were being divinely guided to cut away, you know is no longer serving you. You're holding back from something also. You're not giving to something anymore with the Four of Pentacles energy. You have truth, you have clarity. Using that sword to cut away things no longer serving you, telling it like it is, standing up for yourself. Open, honest, truthful communication. Hierophant. So this could be um, could be a marriage for some or a long-term commitment. But this is about faith, religion, doing what's moral, just, and right. Structure, value. Um, and things like that. I'm having like a brain fart because <laughs> I want to say also... Um, Things like, you know, the law and the government, schooling and education and that kind of energy also. Being very dedicated also and committed to something. Now you have the seven, seven of pentacle energy here, which is about something maybe you invested in and now you're just waiting for the profit or the abundance to come in. You're assessing, evaluating something here. Assessing and evaluating whether or not to stay committed to something. And then you have the Ten of Cups energy, which is total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. So I feel like for some of you, you're being divinely guided to make a choice whether or not you, you want to continue to give to maybe a long-term commitment or marriage that you are in, making that judgment call. This, I mean, if you did separate from a person here, maybe you're coming back to making a decision to come back together. Or some of you, I feel like, may be divinely guided to leave a situation that was no longer serving you so that you can be with the person you feel is your sunshine, that you feel is your true person, your true soulmate, twin flame energy here. You could see them as very wise, or again, like you're getting that wise advice from spirit communication, connection. And paying attention to your intuition. All right, so this is the energy you're in, but let's look at the actual situation. So what are we doing here? Are we staying? Are we leaving? Are we going? Um, the signs where we sit. So yeah, this is a new start here with the full energy. Resetting at zero here, taking a leap of faith and resetting. And I had said that, that <laughs> I had said the world is the last card, then you start over with the full. So I feel like, because the world is 21, even though this card, you know, but still, now we're starting over. So we're starting over here. So what are we starting over? What are we leaping into, Aries? Oh, it's too many. The star, a very divinely guided energy here. Faith, hope, optimism. Wishes and dreams coming true. Healing energy. What else? Wow. 
Oh, that's way too many. I'm not taking those, but I'll take this one. Well, we have the Queen of Cups. King or Queen, doesn't matter. So now we have an energy here of, of a loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy, uh, peace, harmony. And now in, it's right under the Hierophant here. So I feel like I feel like you're being divinely guided to give your cup to the one you feel like is your wish, your dream come true, especially with the star and the sun here. You want to start, reset, restart at zero and give this cup to your divinely guided person who you feel is your Ten of Cups person. All right, so what else here for Aries? Some of you may be reconnecting and getting back together with the same person. Some of you may be leaving one person to go to someone you feel is your true soulmate to inflame. All right, so and this is waiting. So the Seven of Pentacles is waiting. I'm getting the energy, though, this King of Swords energy of somebody who is like ready to just cut something out, especially with this detachment here. So what else here? And the Fool to me is always about a new start. Resetting at zero. Definitely holding back from something with the Four of Pentacles energy. The High Priestess. So I had said that listening to you got your intuition, your higher knowing. And that is the uh, spirit communication is right here with the High Priestess. So I feel like you're divinely guided. You're paying attention. You're listening to your gut, your intuition. And you're really listening to what your gut is telling you what is right for you to do. I definitely feel like some of you are no longer giving to either a marriage or a long-term commitment. And with the King of Swords, I feel like you're finally cutting that away because I feel like you've been waiting, like knowing, okay, this other person is my true Ten of Cups, my divinely guided person, my soulmate, my twin flame. Could be someone from the past. And it's like you want a new start with this person. So you may be keeping that secret to yourself as you're going through this whole process not telling anyone maybe not even this person that you want to reconnect with but you're being divinely guided here so let's get one more you know, actual situation for you Aries kind of turning into a love reading <laughs> three of swords yeah heartache pain there could have been a third party situation here with the three of swords um you were very hurt. Maybe it was a long-term commitment marriage here. Or, you know, so, or somebody did this to you and now with the King of Swords energy, it's like you're not having it anymore. You're standing up for yourself, telling it like it is, cutting away that energy. Having truth, you know, honest communication here. Not giving to it anymore. You know, I've invested enough maybe in this. Somebody maybe was a player, had a lot of third parties, just left you in this hot, broken energy. So you're like, well, I know this person, someone from my, I wouldn't be surprised if we get the Six of Cups. It's like, you know who your true person is. It could be someone, like I said, from the past. You could be looking back, the past person here. You know, maybe you've connected with them uh, on social media to say, hey, hey, are you, you know, what's up with you? See what's going on in their life. Like looking out here, social media, you know, reaching out, you know, taking um, that leap of faith to see if uh, what's going on in their life and with the stars here also I'm getting like that um, energy so let's see what your advice is Aries let's see what your advice is Aries oh we got too many oh but I'm gonna take those what's this one the hermit so I'm gonna take this one being guided to that one so so we have strength here, so a very strong, strong bond, connection, having strength, willpower, courage, determination, um, endurance, feeling that, very, it's right in the star and the fool. So feeling that strong connection to someone, like you still feel that pull towards that person here. And you want this divinely guided brain to be getting in love with the Ace of Cups, love and emotions overflowing. I feel like it's someone from the past that you never forgot. The hermit, you see kind of looking back, remembering going within and realizing, fighting your way, finding your light, looking down the path here of like yesterday and feeling like, you know, I still have feelings and emotions for this person. 
And again, you know, the strength there is a very strong bond, I feel, between two people that was never forgotten, though you may be separated with the hermit energy, especially now, kind of energy, but there's still all this love and emotions overflowing. Maybe it was deeply hidden there because I see, you know, the depths of the ocean there. So it could have been deeply hidden for a long period of time. And now it's like you've gone on this soul conquest and journey. And now it's like you know what you truly want. So now you're ready. Here's the communication. Page of Wands. Could be that communi online communication. Sending out, you know, shooting some kind of message and feeling very passionate about it. And if it's saying, hey, what's up? What's going on with you? You know? Maybe saying, sending them the good news, you know, that I've been through the ringer here with the nine of wands, but I'm freeing myself of that energy. Freeing that. And I feel like here, I just saw the emperor reverse that your energy, Aries. So maybe you were with somebody that was very controlling and you're like, you know what? I'm freeing myself of someone who was very controlling of me. I am no longer in that energy. Because where I was, was very bored, contempt, blah, boring. Now I'm ready to give my love to somebody else with the Page of Cups. Again, two pages here, communication, love communication, passionate good news communication here. All right, so that's your advice. So if there is somebody in the past that you never stopped thinking of with the Hermit energy, I'm getting this energy of someone you've always carried um, a flame for or or torch because I'm getting like this wand energy you've always had undying love for them you always felt that strong bond you know just reach out and see what they're uh, up to say hey how how are you how are you doing you know uh, kind of energy especially if you're bored complacent and you've decided to leave the situation you're in uh, maybe reach out before it's too late especially if they're dating well it could be social dating you know online or something like that Getting to reach out before um, it's too late here. See what they're up to. Even if it's just to reconnect, say, hey, how you doing? All right. So <clears throat> I feel like that person from the past is your true soulmate to inflame. All right. So, <clears throat> wow. Because also judgment there is also about the past, reconnection of the past. So what is a possible outcome for you here, Aries? Possible outcome. Well, Dang it, Two of Cups, Soulmate, it's coming into Soulmate Union, the Two of Cups, Two of Cups energy, so what else here, Knight of Cups, so moving forward in love, in Soulmate Union, wow, what else here, Ten of Swords, so yeah, there's going to be an ending here, I feel for you, painful, hurtful ending, you knew it was coming though, because this, you know, male or female, she sees these swords coming down so you knew this was going down you knew this was ending you knew it was coming or, or your person that you're with now did it's like you knew it was coming for a long time so i mean the person you're with now could have been a soulmate at one time but now i feel like now we're moving in forward in love to our true soul, soulmate after we end this that we've known that's had to end for a long time kind of energy So what cards are reversed here? All right. So is there any other messages here for Aries about this possible outcome for Aries? Nine of Pentacles. Yep. You need to become single. Exactly. <laughs> Once you're single, independent, can take care of yourself. You're back on your feet. And the ending, you know, that ending has taken place. Then I see soulmates, uh, Moving forward in love. And actually, I think that may be the title of this, Soulmates. I just want to write it down. Moving forward in love. Sorry. If I don't write it down, then I forget. And then I got to go back and watch it and be like, what, it, what was that? <laughs> All right. So we do have the Eight of Pentacles here. So this is working on it uh, here, mastering, working on it. It could be somebody you worked with. Have a lot of, and we do have the emperor that was in reverse there, but we do have the empress now. So we have a matching divine couple here, birth of something new. Um, maybe you had a child with this person in the past for some of you. Yeah, here's a chariot moving forward victoriously. 
spot of drive, ambition, balance, birth of something new, knowing value and worth, emperor and empress here. Although that could be you, that emperor energy in reverse, still not uh, where you need to be because you need to release something here, no longer serving you first. Two of wands. So uh, at a crossroads here, making plans, decisions for the future. The moon. So could be, you know, a little bit of fear or just very deep feelings here. Um, not seeing the path clearly yet, but the sun is there. So you will see the path clearly and take that path with the two of wands energy. Five of cups. So feeling a little sad, hurt, you know, loss, regret, maybe of what's going down, but knowing I just got to get out of the situation. It's just not for me anymore. So finding your balance, peace, harmony, patient energy, also healing. Also this temperance angel brings us all mates back together for a fiery, passionate new beginning here. After there's been a pause and a break and some stillness, here's a fiery, passionate new beginning with the temperance angel bringing the soulmates together. First, you have to leave behind this energy that is no longer serving you. A feeling, you know, just sad and blah where you are. You've got to get out of that energy. Though you don't see the path clearly, but you will be making plans for the future here and choosing the path that's right for you, I feel, Aries. Wow, for the signs I see, I see Scorpio, Leo, I see um, <clears throat> Gemini, Taurus, Aquarius, Aquarius, and we have here uh, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer again here, we have the Empress here, which is Libra, Taurus, the Knight of Cups here, which is uh, Scorpio, uh, let's see here. The Emperor's Aries, that's you. Uh, Virgo. Leo again. So those are the signs I see. What other signs do we have here? Uh, Pisces. Sagittarius. Pisces again. All right. So I just saw the magician under there. So that was uh, manifesting a brand new beginning, which is Gemini and Virgo. So a lot of signs. So let's get some more messages for you to close this out, Aries. More messages to close this out for you, Aries. Let's get some more messages. I do ask Aries, especially if you're new. Um, you can check out the description box below. A lot of information there. How to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, uh, links to purchase the decks if you would like to for yourself. Uh, your playlists are down there, General in Love. <clears throat> if you'd like to go back, I consider them timeless. Uh, social media links. Uh, what else is down there? Um, if you'd like to send a gift, tip, donate, anything like that is down there. If you're not comfortable using PayPal during the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for energy exchanges, tips, donations, if you choose to. We do thank you. So let's get some closing. I feel these two energies here. So we have mirror, who or what is triggering you. And that to me is indicative of of twin flames because they mirror each other and they uh, trigger each other sometimes to bring out the best and worst of each other to face what they need to face because usually if it's a twin flame energy you look at the mirror you look at them and you see yourself and usually you have um, a lot of the same core issues or personality traits or things that you need to work on or heal and sometimes that can trigger each other to work and heal the things they need to and then we have here priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? And I, we have every high priestess here. We have it here. We have the hawk prince there, which is a spirit communication and paying attention. So how are you being calling to lead? Take charge of your life here. Do what you feel like you need to do and listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing kind of energy also. And let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution. Expression. So if you feel like you've been living, like being held captive <laughs> in whatever situation you are now, it's like you're finally expressing yourself, telling it like it is, especially with the King of Swords energy here. And uh, coming out of that energy, I feel. Just coming out of it. And the answer is yes. Definitely here. Yes. Just say yes. So whatever it is here, whatever you're going through, or whatever you're wondering in your mind, and the answer is yes. Wow, Aries. Okay, Aries, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.